will get through this, but we have to be prepared in every single way. And being prepared is more than just a motto for Chairwoman Marilyn Kirkpatrick. Ever since the pandemic changed our lives, she has been front and center in Clark County's ongoing efforts to combat COVID-19. We're 2.4 million people and people want to be part of the testing, so here's your opportunity to do it free and easy. Testing for the disease and caring for those with coronavirus was the first challenge, and a multi-jurisdictional team got to work immediately with free community testing sites across Clark County. It's gonna be group wines and I'm gonna split them up. In the early pandemic era, the School Days program was put in place, providing students with an alternative to in-home learning while Clark County schools remain shuttered. School Days is um, great for parent support and I feel that parents really need a lot of support now. So the first thing they do as people are standing in line, they get a clipboard and a pen. The first vaccines were made available last winter and getting shots in people's arms became a top priority in Clark County. And we continue to wrap resources around the Southern Nevada Health District because they know how to give immunizations. They've been doing it for years. This is on a larger scale and we want to get it out into our community much faster so that we can all work on the road to recovery. Cashman Center was the first location to offer the immunizations and then dozens of other shot spots popped up, saving lives on our road to recovery. Clark County business came back big with the grand opening of Resorts World, the first newly constructed casino resort in more than a decade. We hope to come back in the second quarter to at least bring some of our bigger conventions back. And then the world of concrete rocked the new West Hall at the Las Vegas Convention Center, further cementing the trade show industry and tourism rebound needed to jumpstart our local economy. It's the eviction moratorium, so that is going to end very soon. We know that the next 12 months will be the hardest time. The Board of County Commissioners devised a collaborative program to keep at-risk renters in their homes while ensuring landlords receive the rent owed to them. Opiate use is uh, something in our community that hits so many families. Opioid Awareness Day reminded us all that addiction spares no one and has a devastating effect on users and families. As our economy soared and as most people got back to work, the commissioner continued toiling with rolled up sleeves to provide county residents with the services and quality of life they expect. The new Bob Price expansion, a public art sculpture in the Nellis Air Force Base community okay, not, you're good. and providing shoes that fit to some of her youngest constituents are just a few of the many ways Chairwoman Kirkpatrick contributed to her District B constituents. Marilyn Kirkpatrick is somebody who tries to bring consensus. She works hard to know the issues, to master them as best she can, to be aware of who is going to be affected. 